What's up, Niner Nation? I'm Trevor Wilt here with the Niner Times. I'm here with the Charlotte 49ers head men's basketball coach, Mark Price. You're known here on campus, of course, for being the coach, but also around the nation for the last couple of decades of being one of the greatest free throw shooters of all time. Steve Nash, number one. You're number two. Steph Curry, babyface assassin, number three on the list. So you got to wait a second, Mr. Davidson. A man right here, <laughs> Mark Price, second on the list. But Mark, what we're going to do today, you're just going to walk us through exactly what you're doing at your camp which is the 20th through the 23rd of this month, 7 through 18 are the ages. Walk us through what you're kind of going to do at the camp, maybe some shooting tutorials as well. We'll go over there, shoot some free throws, and after that, get a little contest for you guys. So, Mark, go ahead and just walk us through the camp. Well, you know, obviously camp starts the 20th through the 23rd, and, uh, you know, if it's a kid's camp and chance for, you know, beginners to really whatever level, a uh, chance to come and learn, get better. We'll do a lot of drills. We'll try to teach them some things. We'll have fun with it, play some games as well, but uh, it'll be a really fun time just for kids to come, enjoy playing some basketball, learning some things, and, and then we move right into uh, our team camp for two days on the uh, 24th and 25th, and so we're excited about that. We're going to have you know over 50 teams coming in this year, so it'll be a lot of fun to get, get uh, high schools on our campus, get a chance to uh, show them what we have here at Charlotte, get a chance to watch some kids play, and uh, and so I'm excited about that. And how much do you stress free throws? Because in this day and age, you have Hack a Shaq, Hack a Dwight Howard, Hack a DeAndre Jordan, whoever you want to say. How much of an impact and how valuable are free throws now at this at this day and age? Well, they're they're extremely valuable. I think if you look, you know, at the scores of games, and there's a lot of games that are won within a five six point range, and then you look at how many free throws have been missed over the course of a game, it uh, it's very telling. And so if you're a good free throw shooting team, you're going to have a chance to win those tight games, closer games uh, down the stretch. So it's it's a huge value. I think some people put more value on it than others. It's obviously important to me. I felt like uh, when I took over this program last year, we weren't really good free throw shooting team at the beginning, but we worked on it. We got better and better as the year went along, and there were games second half of the season where, you know, we shot well over 80% as a team uh, at times. And so, and you give yourself a chance to win those games. All right, so now we know how valuable the free throw is to the game of basketball. We're going to go ahead and come over here to the free throw line, and Mark's going to show you guys how he goes about shooting his free throws. Well, one of the most important things about shooting free throws is routine, doing the same thing over and over every single time. That allows you to be more successful. As you can see, initially, when the referee gives me the ball, I'm standing off of the line. You'll see a lot of guys, as soon as they get fouled, they'll just walk to the line, they'll get set, and they'll wait for the – uh, the referee to start their free throws. To me, I always that was part of my routine, even stepping up to the line. So I would get the ball, all right? I would try to split the basket with my right foot right here in the middle. A lot of, a lot of basketball things, you'll see a little nail hole right there in the middle. That's kind of should be dead center to the basket. I always put my right foot right in the middle of that, all right? About shoulder width apart, I put my left foot a little bit behind my front foot to get, make sure I get really good balance on my shot. All right. A lot of guys have different things. You see guys bouncing the ball, moving, doing all kinds of things. I was pretty simple with it. I usually just dribbled the ball about three times, stepped up to the line, and then got myself set and balanced and put the ball in the same place every single time. Then you just raise up, shoot it, follow through part of it, finish on your toes, and that's how you make a free throw. All right. Uh, obviously, I would step back off the line, wait for the ball to get thrown to me again, and start the routine all over again. All right, put your right foot in the middle of the lane, line it up, get yourself balanced, bounce the ball about three times, focus on your target, raise up, shoot the shot, nothing but net. And that's how you make a free throw. So now we know how to shoot the free throw. We got some tips. I actually just learned a lot from that because I don't want to straddle, so I may try what he does right there, put the right foot on the pin right there where the nail's supposed to be. So we're to go ahead and do a little free throw contest. I'm thinking now. I know, it's over already. I know exactly. Ah, get in there. <laughs> He's not kidding either. That's the sad part. Try to 
So now that we know how to shoot free throws, the camp is soon, guys. So sign up as soon as you can. You can sign up. You can even walk in that day and pay the fee. So more information you can find up probably on Twitter or on shot49ers.com um, website. So thank you guys for tuning in, for watching. And Mark, thank you again. And, uh, I always appreciate it. Keep practicing. Yes, I'll try my best. Go Niners.